as a young child, I remember dreaming that when I grew up, I could one day be like David Attenborough, traveling into the remote jungle, trying to negotiate wild landscapes rarely seen before by man, climbing mountains, slashing paths in the landscape with my trusty machete, searching the wilderness just to see wildlife in its natural environment. I guess we all had dreams, and like most people, my dreams got put on the back burner. Life just gets in the way. One day you think you're destined to be an astronaut, and the next you're middle-aged, working in a tedious job that your younger self just could never imagine. I've always traveled when I can, but until recently my life's lacked the kind of adventure that I dreamed of as a naive kid. I turned 40 this year. Maybe I was just having a midlife crisis, but one night I found myself searching the internet, looking for a holiday that was just a little bit different. It's when I found the great projects. There was a tour available in Malaysia, Borneo, called the Orangutan and Tribes Tour. It lasted two weeks, with a few days spent at the beginning doing volunteer work with the orangutans and the sun bears at the Matang Wildlife Centre. We got to participate in animal husbandry, taking care of enclosures, putting out food for them. Spent a lot of time learning about these animals and the conservation programs being carried out. Now the staff at Matang don't allow you to make physical contact with the apes. And for good reason. Apes are extremely susceptible to human diseases. Contact with one sick person could potentially cost the lives of these animals. While the Great Projects are a profit-making organisation, unlike a lot of the uh, shonky fly-by-night so-called eco-tourism agencies around, the Great Projects are genuinely dedicated to providing a service which doesn't negatively impact on the conservation that's taking place. They try to ensure that the presence of tourism there benefits the local community. We spent a few days visiting places like Baco National Park and the Permai Rainforest learning how to spot all the different types of wildlife. Our guide, Alvin, spent most of his time teaching us the skills necessary in preparation for the time we would later spend in the remote rainforest on the last part of our tour. Uh, it turns out the jungles are not very flat. Some incredibly steep terrain. It, it can be pretty daunting at times. The ground is giving way under your feet. Everything's wet and muddy. There are leeches clinging to your shoes. Your legs are aching from continuous walking on the ever-changing terrain. You're hot and sweaty, dehydrated. And all during this time, you're meant to be looking around, keeping quiet, vigilantly watching for signs of life. Trekking through the jungles is not an easy thing to do. And that time that we spent in preparation was invaluable. As a bit of a bonus, we also got to see some pretty rare and endangered animals. We saw the silver leaf langur, the proboscis monkey, the bearded pig, the flying lemur, and plenty of macaques. We even saw the odd viper or two. The final part of our tour involved catching a bus and then having some local tribespeople transport us upriver via longboat into a remote area of rainforest near the Indonesian border. We stayed in a longhouse opposite the home of the local people there. We spent around five days in this area, with much of our time spent trying to spot orangutan. There's a pretty large population of orangutan living in the area. You can't walk far without spotting nests or food that's been dropped by them. We were lucky enough to see some very distinctive movement in the trees, which can only mean the presence of orangutan. Unfortunately, tracking orangutan is no easy task. We weren't lucky enough to make a full frontal sighting. The orangutan is clever enough to know that humans pose a threat in the wild. When they become aware of us, they hide. This is not such a good thing if you're trying to capture them on film, but might prove to be pretty good for the species as a whole. We were told that some other groups have made full frontal sightings, but it's generally pretty rare, and only for the lucky few. While it would have been nice to have seen one in the wild, for me the adventure was in the looking. I don't regret a thing. 
While we were in this remote area, we also had the opportunity to learn a little about the culture of the local tribes people. And even got to spend some time taking a dip. Overall, the orangutan and tribes tour was a pretty amazing experience. If you're looking for a relaxing holiday, then I, I probably wouldn't advise that you take this tour. But if you still yearn a little adventure from time to time, uh, I think it was well worth the money.